Former President Jimmy Carter and his wife Rosalind built their life in a small rural Georgia town. His neighbors are now reflecting on what he's meant to that community. Madeline Rivera has more. He was just as much a member of this church as any member was. Known as a devout Christian, former President Jimmy Carter's faith and desire to serve drove his decision-making post-presidency. After leaving office in 1981, he returned home to Plains, Georgia, where he and his wife Rosalind joined Maranatha Baptist Church. It's there where Carter taught Sunday school for decades. Often crowds as large as 500 people lined up to hear him speak. We had people who learned how to plug in there curling irons and we brought in potolets for them to use and people would bring breakfast food with them. Carter and Rosalind also spent more than 35 years volunteering with Habitat for Humanity. Together they worked alongside thousands of volunteers to build, renovate and repair some 4,300 homes. He's probably one of the primary reasons that Habitat for Humanity was able to you know, really expand and have global reach. Friends and supporters of Carter say this desire to serve began in his birthplace of Plains. It's part of the reason why the former president chose to spend his final days in this town of about 500 people. This has been the, the bedrock for his foundation and he could have lived anywhere in the world. He could have done anything with his time.